Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team, here with another video for The Division. This is going to be the weekly reset video for all the open world vendors for June 23rd, 2017. Let's get in it. Start here in the terminal as always. Now I went through all the open worlds and it doesn't look too promising. There are a couple of items. We'll be going over all the best items of the week in our best items of the week video. But for here, we're just going to go over every single item being sold in case you want to just see what see everything that's being sold that's high end. As usual. Also, we will be doing a separate video for the Dark Zone vendors. If you're new to the channel, we do one for Open World, one for Dark Zone, and then we do the best items of the week. All separate videos. Stay tuned for those. They'll be coming up right after this one. Pretty good Lone Star. Pretty good Predator's Mark. Pretty good Alpha Bridge. A lot of pretty good stuff this week. I also wanted to talk about the upcoming additions we'll be doing to the channel. I haven't really narrowed it down what I'm going to be covering exclusively or if I'm going to be covering multiple games. I'm most likely going to be doing two new games that come out. First of which that's coming out is Destiny 2, which comes out in September. Also, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite will be coming out in September as well. Now, whether or not I'll be covering those on the channel is a different story. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit about the 1.7 update for Division. Uh, I was thinking about doing a separate video for everything, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But it is looking pretty promising. Make sure if you take anything away from this video besides what's being sold, make sure you hang on to your Ninja Bike Messenger Bags because those are going to get a huge workaround, like a huge change. To what, what they'll actually what talent they'll actually give you so definitely hang on to those if you have a bunch in your you know in your stash or whatever do not get rid of them hang on to them it's gonna be a good buff also they'll be doing uh, they talked about global events and uh, what you'll be getting for those you get global event tokens that you can use to spend to buy uh, six piece five and six piece gear set items which I think is a pretty good addition I don't know why they went they didn't have that from the beginning and in, in the sense that you can hold six pieces of gear so like why there was no six piece gear set item buff from the beginning is weird but i might understand like you want to mix and match so i get that but uh, there are some changes coming to the division i think you know i think i'm going to do a separate video on all the 1.7 changes if you are interested in seeing it check out macro styles breakdown of the 1.7 he that guy does great division videos not to like discredit my own but that guy definitely does his research and if you were looking for a thorough breakdown of everything that goes on give him, give him a check out macro style but uh, back to what uh, we'll be doing in the future I still have it narrowed down between the four games that I was picking through the four games being Anthem, Destiny 2, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and Dragon Ball Fighter Z. now just based on the looks and what I've seen and what I saw at A3 I'm leaning towards Anthem in Dragon Ball Fighter, but I am a diehard Marvel fan and I am a diehard Destiny fan, so it's going to be tough to choose. I would like to cover all four if we had more revenue coming in, then that would be awesome and we actually could do it, but most likely it's going to be limited to however much time I personally have, me, Alpha Team. So we'll figure it out and we'll make sure we, we stick with everything Division 2, Division as well, rather. Because, of course, we want to keep growing our channel for Division because we do play this game a lot. We do love this game a lot. I put out my Alpha Bridge build video this past week. If you haven't seen it yet, take a look. Got some interesting feedback. A lot of people telling me what I did wrong. A lot of people telling me what I did right. I just like how everyone's quick to note how they think their build is better. And, you know, maybe it is. And if it is, kudos to you. But like I say, in all my videos that we do for builds is... We're just trying to make a build that works and that we have fun with. So if you're not having fun in the game, then why play it, right? Just keep that in mind whenever you're doing your own builds. Make sure you still have fun. All right, over the firewall, pretty decent Spec Ops backpack. Crappy performance mod. And then finally to the crypt. LMG, eh, not bad, I guess. Crappy event break. That's going to do it, guys, for the open world vendors. 
Stay tuned for the Dark Zone vendors. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from RDGaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions or you want to give us any feedback. Always appreciate it. Until then, go ahead. Game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!